Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever needed to export your Figma designs as a PDF, maybe you're putting together a quick client presentation, or you need a professional way to share your work with someone who doesn't use Figma, you're in the right place. In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to export Figma files as PDFs step by step. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create crisp, shareable PDFs straight from your Figma workspace hassle-free. Let's get started. First things first, head over to Figma and open up the project you want to export. This is the digital workspace where you create all your designs. If you have multiple pages or lots of frames in your project, take a moment to navigate to the exact frame you want to export as a PDF. Think of a frame in Figma as the container or page holding your design, like a canvas that wraps around all the elements you want to include. Selecting the right frame is important, because only what's inside that frame will end up in your PDF export, anything outside won't make it in. To select your frame, just click directly on its title in the Layers panel on the left, or click on the frame itself in the main workspace until you see a blue highlight around it. If you ever feel unsure, don't worry. You can always check the frame's boundaries and make sure it contains only the content you want to export. Sometimes, if your design looks cropped or incomplete in the PDF, it's usually because of what was selected at this stage, so take a little time to double-check. Once your frame is selected, shift your focus to the right bottom corner of Figma. You'll see a small export button. It might look pretty subtle, but this is where all the magic happens. Go ahead and click that export button, and a panel will slide up showing a few export options. Now by default, Figma might have the export format set to PNG or JPG, which are image formats. But since we want a PDF, a format that keeps your design scalable, sharp, and perfect for printing or sharing with clients, you'll need to switch the file type. Look for the drop-down menu or the label that shows the current file type and click on it. From the list, choose PDF. This tiny switch makes a big difference. PDFs preserve both the quality and layout of your designs, no matter where you view them or on what device. With PDF selected, all that's left to do is click the export button one more time. If your design is a bit complex or has lots of layers, don't worry if this takes a few moments. Figma is just making sure your export looks perfect. When the save dialog pops up on your computer, choose the folder where you want to keep your new PDF, give it a file name you'll remember, and hit save. And that's it, you've exported your Figma frame as a polished, professional PDF, ready to be shared or printed. So that's how simple it is to export Figma files as PDFs in 2025. If you found this tutorial helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, or there's anything else you're curious about with Figma or design in general, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more straightforward tutorials just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.